everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to create an eye makeup look and then I'll finish my face off camera and I'll tell you the products that I use now um, just so you know as you see I've already done my brows and yes they seem a little uneven I don't know why I do myself like this but <laughs> it's just been like that it's uneven but the product that I use is the LA Colors Brow Cream Gel in medium brown that's what I use I love this brow gel cream um, I used to love the MAC you know brow pomade um, this one I like because it's not really moisturizing it's it's sort of dry so it sticks onto the brows real nice and it's easy to sculpt the brows really nicely with this brow gel and i got it for a dollar at the dollar tree so yes you guys i highly recommend this brow cream if you're looking for a brow cream there's one right there I'm telling you it's really good la colors brow cream gel it's so good it says cream and it is creamy it's creamy enough that it doesn't overly dry where the product is so hard to come out but it is when you put it on your brows it's like sort of dry but not too dry that you can't blend it out i hope y'all can understand what i'm saying but really love this brow cream gel this is really good it's a favorite Okay, as far as primer on my eyelids, I use my favorite, which is the ELF 16-hour camo concealer. Love this in medium beige. It is my favorite eyelid primer. I don't use it as concealer, but I do highly recommend that you can use this as a foundation. I have used it as a foundation for full coverage, and it's so amazing okay but i prefer it as an eyelid primer because it's just look at my eyelids you don't see any veins you don't see dark pigmentation you don't see my just eyelids looking pink and all of this it covers all of that so this is my primer and i absolutely love that product as well so now we can get right into eyeshadows now Today, I'm going to use two palettes. One, I've been using nonstop. I've mentioned this in a lot of my videos, and I know that probably most people are tired of me saying I use this product or this uh, palette. And it's true, though. I use this palette on a daily, even when I don't film or tape a video. I use this palette. It is so good. It is so so good and it's the Norvina ABH palette I love it I will be using this palette with the blend of my it cosmetic it girl palette because what I'm thinking about doing I'm going for something a little more dramatic something I don't know just we'll just see something a little dramatic and I know that these few tones here is what I'm looking at right there on this side of the palette so yes so now we can begin okay so now you know the palettes that I use so I don't have to go back over eye products I'm telling you the eye products as I um do this video okay as I create this video so now, the first thing, I used to put highlighter underneath my brow bone and I worked for my brow bone down. But after my eye injury, I feel like, you know, I really just don't do that anymore because there has been a great change with my eyelids. I do have a little extra skin now. And um, after the abuse that caused the injury, um, I just... I don't know. I just go in now with a color into the crease and I sort of work on down and then I work back up. I don't know why, but I do know why. I just told y'all my, my eyelids just kind of, it's amazing. I'm just going to put it this way. It's amazing that even though I have the loose skin, 
My eyelids have a little loose skin, which I am going to get that fixed. Um, I still feel like my crease looks better than ever now. And that's weird, but I know what I see. Okay, so, and I know how um, easier it is for me to put on shadows and blend them out and also just to get a color into the crease is just amazing for me because at one time it was no kind of crease okay I had a crease but it was like it, it was no crease so okay so let's let's keep going okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my best if I do both sides, then of course I'm gonna edit out one side so that this video does not be so long. Um, but I normally do like to do both eyes just so I can get it even. But I'm gonna try to just do one eye and then do the other eye off camera because y'all don't wanna be on here forever, okay? And trust me, my videos can be long. And I don't know why I'm looking so red in the kit. Am I looking red? Um, I washed my face and my, my skin looks red for some reason. My cheeks looks red and my nose looks red. Maybe it's just me, but I know what I see. My, my cheeks and nose look red. Okay, but anyways, you guys. All right, so I'm gonna start with the It Cosmetics It Girl. And I'm going to start, like I said, on this one side. I'm just going to use random shades over here on this side. So I'm not going to show you every shade. I'm just going to start applying eyeshadows and, yeah, create this look. So I think I'm going to start with this one here. They do have names, but I just don't got time, y'all. Y'all y'all know the palette. So I'm just going to get started. So I'm going to put this into my crease and slightly above my crease. And this is a cool tone shade. I don't know what I'm going for. Once again, I know that I want a bold look. That I do know, but as far as what kind of particular look I'm going for, I really don't know. Um, we'll see, okay? We'll see what's what the results is going to be okay i feel like when you build up eyeshadow it's better that way than to just go in with an eyeshadow really thick on the lids and then you try to blend it out it's best to take just get a little product on the brush and just gradually build it up. That's what I learned. And I remember many YouTubers talking about that. And at the time I was like, I'm just going to go in there and just grab product and just blend it out. But usually that's really the wrong way. <laughs> in my opinion, it is. And I feel like you just should put just a small amount on the onto the brush and just blend it out it just works better and that way you don't have to do a lot of extra blending a lot of extra going back in like you don't have to go back in and fill in a lot of stuff you just kind of it just works y'all it just works that's all i can say so yeah now what i'm gonna do next is I'm gonna grab this uh, it's like a I think it's a blue shade hmm I like both of those shades actually this is gonna work really good okay I'm gonna mix these two shades at the bottom which are more like deeper tone shades but they're gonna work perfectly and I'm gonna grab another brush because I'm gonna have to use that brush over here on this side of my eye so I'm going to grab me another blending brush and all of my blending brushes is over there okay why every time when I create a video my phone goes off it's not a day go by so I'm going to use this product here well no not that one what am I thinking 
Yes, okay, I'm gonna use this brush here to add on these deeper tone shades because once again, I'm going for a dramatic look because I'm in the mood for it. But I'm gonna gradually add this on. Like I said, I'm just barely dabbing some of that product onto the brush. When I say product, I mean eyeshadow. Just barely grabbing some eyeshadow onto the brush and I'm just slowly blending this out. I'm going to go back in with my other brush and use that first color, that cool tone color, and I'm going to blend this up just a little higher because I don't want to block that color. So I, a lot of times, and I've always brought up my eyeshadows up to here. It's not a new thing for me. Um, go back to some of my older videos. You'll see when I used to work from the brow down, I always put eyeshadow from the brow bone all the way down because I have so much space. And yeah, I used to didn't like it until... A person told me was like, you know what? You talk about your eyelids so much. And the person was like, I wish I had all that space so that I can add on so many eyeshadows onto the lid. And you know what? I stopped like complaining about my lids so much. Like this person just like kind of <laughs> helped me to love my eyelids. Okay, so yeah i'm telling i'm just talking to you guys because this is gonna be somewhat of a long i don't want to make it long but i don't really know what i'm going for and so i'm just going with the flow and just kind of thinking what i want to use next and all of that so yeah all right, so taking the same brush because this is going to be um, more deeper tones right now because I'm, I'm looking at the corner side now. That's how I do my eyeshadows. So I'm going to take this uh, shade D2 and D5, which are blue, which is a blue shade and a black shade. And then I'm going to take the shade D4 as well. Take all three of those colors. And I'm just going to place it over here in the corner. And then I'm going to go into my crease with the color. But first I'm going to build it up. And if the color comes outside of my like way out here I can always clean it up okay so I'm gonna place this once again right into the outer corner and into my crease just like that okay so now I'm gonna take just the shade D5 and I'm just going to add it on the corner here. Right there. I think that's pretty good. So now, you guys, it's time that I do my one part of my eyeshadow that I love to do, which is I grab my concealer and I basically go ahead and highlight my eyelid so that the shadow on the eyelid will be intense and it'll be just the way I want it, okay? And this works every time, so. Okay, you guys, so basically I went ahead and evened out this side of the eye. Um, it's a little uneven, but right now I'm just trying to get the color into the crease and bring it up a little higher 
just because I've already got my eyelids ready for the eyeshadow that I'm going to place there. The thing is, I was sitting here thinking, like, what can I use, like, as a glitter glue? Because what I want to do is I want to put on glitter, and I might just have to take this glitter right off after the video. Um, I don't have glitter glue, and I have used this before, but... You know, it's been a long time. I basically stopped using it once I saw that some things just, just know this. I didn't really get to use my palettes due to my eye injury. So right now I'm just like, okay, all I can do is use this glitter and then after the video, I can just simply remove it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm just intensifying the crease a little bolder here. As you see here, it's getting more intense. And then I'm going to add this black shade, which is D5, into the corner of my eye on both sides. And I'm going to straighten up the colors on the side of my eye. Right now, it's looking a little sloppy, a little, yeah. But I'm going to clean that up. And so I'm just adding more of this dark shade, D5, on the corners of my eye here. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I thought about two things, okay? I thought about just using the YB Elf Neutralizer Cream to place right here on the parts where I'm going to put my eyeshadow. That way, maybe the glitter, that's what I'm going to use, glitter, will stick onto the neutralizer, and that way I won't have a lot of fallout. Let's hope so. Let's just hope that this works, okay? So I'm going to add some of this neutralizer here. And I'm just going to place it right here where I'm going to place all the glitter. And I feel like this may be as good as a glitter glue. I'm hoping. If I get some all over my eye once again, I'm going to clean up my eye area. There we go. Now, let me place the glitter on right now. The glitter I'm going to use is actually the, Bar the Pure X Barbie palette. I haven't used that in a while, you guys. It's such a beautiful palette, in my opinion. Um, I just don't, I just don't use it. I don't know why. So I'm gonna dip into the glitter here, and I'm gonna place this glitter right onto. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? Like, look at that glitter. Now, the first time I used this, I did not have any problems with glitter falling into my eyes and I had no glitter primer. Right now, I'm just very particular about like putting glitter on my eyes or anything like that. So like I said, after I get done with this video, I'll probably remove my eye makeup just because I don't want to take a chance of this glitter getting into my eye because I don't have glitter glue. So I will remove it, but just for the sake of this video, I wanted something a little dazzling, a little something, something sparkling. Um, the Hard Candy product or the Hard Candy Glitz, what are they called? Glitterazzi eyeshadows are really good if you don't have light glitter glue. 
This right here, I'm afraid is going to absolutely get into my eyes. I'm a little afraid of putting it on, to be honest. But I want this look for today. So it's a little messy for some reason. I don't know why, but it is a little messy. Or maybe it's just a little high up. <laughs> I say messy, but I think it's just a little high up. So I'm going to do the same thing on the side over here on this eye. I'm going to stop right there with the glitter. Yes, y'all. Okay, so now I am not completely done with this look. I'm just saying. I'm going to do something underneath the lash line, but right now... I'm going to take this brush here and I'm going to go ahead and put on a highlighting shade. And I guess I'm going to take this highlighting shade from the It Girl It Cosmetics palette. I'm going to take this matte white shade and just add it underneath my brows as a brow highlight. Yes, we got to have that. And I'm going to clean up everything around my eyes so it'll look neater and more presentable okay because right now it's looking a little wild it's not looking really yeah y'all y'all see it <laughs> it's looking wild so y'all see it so i'm gonna i want to try to fix this on the bottom Okay, so now... Oh! My freaking phone! Like, really? Really? <laughs> huh? Okay. So, you guys, now... What I got to do from here is I need to go ahead and do my face makeup. And then I'll come back and finish the bottom lash line and finish my eyes because I feel like when I go in and I put in all of my, like, say, eyeshadow that I want to put on the bottom and all that, when I go back in with the concealer, I'm just going to remove that. That's going to come off. And so I don't want to do that. So this is the time that I do my face. Now, real quickly, now that I feel like that should be another video because it does take me some time to even do my face. Not as much time as it does doing my eyes. I feel like every time I do my eye makeup, it's always a long video um, because that's my favorite part of doing makeup or the my favorite part of makeup is eye makeup. Um, so I feel like I want to do my face makeup off camera so I can get it done really quick because I feel like I can get it done quicker off camera but if you're wondering as far as moisturizers what I'm going to use I'm going to use my Pons Beauty Cream I'm going to use my Bolero Cucumber and Aloe Hydrator I'm going to use my Collab Pep Talk Primer and Skin Booster y'all know I use those and Surprisingly, I'm going to come back with these two products right here, which is the All Over Glow um, Highlighter and Bronzer Eliminators here. I'm going to use both of those, and then I'm going to use my Collab Skin Wonder Foundation. I might go in with the Neutrogena. I think I want to go in with the Neutrogena because that's more like natural foundation. I think I want a little more coverage, so I'm going to use the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup here with the uh, two uh highlighters one is a bronze one is a highlighter so i'm going to use those products and i'll come back when i get to that part so let me go ahead and moisturize my face do what i do uh as far as my primers and then when i get ready to put on the foundation then that's where i'm going to come back and let y'all take a look at what and how that's going to look okay all right
Okay, bad. Okay, you guys, while I have on my uh, moisturizers and it's just soothing into my skin or just absorbing into my skin, I feel like I wanted to add a little extra to my eyeshadow. And I wanted to add on, you guys, this orange shade from the ABH. I feel like it would be a pretty, like, combination of color with this look here. Uh, but then again, I'm looking at the red and I'm just like, no, I just did red the other day on my other channel. So I think I'm gonna go in with these two vibrant orange shades, which is E2 and E4. And I'm going to, now I'm using just E2 right now, and I'm going to blend it on top of the black shade here. Just to add a little more. Y'all know I'm into the neon colors. I'm all about that right now. So anything sort of neon, I'm, I'm all for it. And I'm going to add that neon color right here at the starting point of my brow. Something I've been doing for a long time. This goes back to 2016. I think I started doing this right here. Which is adding an extra color up here right underneath my brow bone. It's just something that I like to do, okay? I like the combination of it. And I did put it on bold because I'm going to go in with E4 now. And just deepen it up a little bit. Yeah, just like that. I'm loving the real bold looks, as y'all know. If you have not been watching my um, videos, then you would probably not know it. But I am into that. So now I'm going to do the same thing over here on this eye. Go in with the shade E2 right here and this may be too much maybe not what y'all like but this is just what i like i like something a little neon on my eyes it's just i don't know just what i like right now i'm not into like the natural looks and the um smoky tone looks and stuff like that i'm into some more bold looks that's what i like and enjoy so that's what i do now i am going to take that red tone because i feel like the red tone is really going to bring this out a little more and i'm going to take a red tone and just lightly add this on and i think this is going to stick out the black and the blue tone it is immediately i see it see from see this eye from that eye it just brought it out a little more as much as i want it to be brought out so yeah so this red shade is b3 I absolutely love it. Ooh, I'm hungry, you guys. My stomach is just growling. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend out this line here. And I'm going to use the shade E1, which is this peach tone. I'm just going to blend it right here. And this is like a highlighter, but it looks good to blend it out with eyeshadow. Just especially the orange tones and the red tone. It just blends that edge out. And you can't use this as a brow bone highlight, so I don't mind it being up this high onto my brow bone. Oh, it looks cute from the side. As you can see, it takes a while for my hydrating products to absorb into my skin because I use three of them, okay? So, and I like it like that. I love my skin, my skin to look luminous or glowy. I love the glow look. So I'm just swimming this in here, pulling that out. It's looking pretty and pretty good. I'm going to put on the highlighter. So I don't want to stop putting on the highlighter because the more I put on, the prettier it gets. Like, seriously, it looks so pretty. Ooh, I just love it, you guys. Okay, it's not for everybody, but y'all can sport anything. It doesn't bother me. I go to the store with this on, and I don't care. That's just how I am. I just go with what I like and whatever. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're not done yet. Like, I've got to do my under eyes, but let's go ahead and um, do the face makeup, okay? So for face makeup, what I'm going to do first, though, before I put on my face makeup, I'm going to use my YB Elf, your best friend, friend. I'm going to use YB Elf, your best friend, perfect prep face primer. And I'm going to use this in the center of my face. This just helps out with my uh, face not getting so oily in the center, because I don't like my face, like, really luminous in the center, because it makes me look like I'm sweating and I'm hot and I'm burning up. And so I don't care for that area to be luminous. The rest of my face, I love the luminous look. So I'm going to put that primer right here in the center. So that will eliminate or not eliminate, but it will slow down the little luminosity in the center of my face right here. All right. Okay, so now let's go ahead with the face products. Now, face products, I'm gonna use these these highlighters here, this bronzer here. This is by uh, the Believe Beauty All Over Glow. Okay, I'm gonna use both of these. And we're just gonna take a look at it. We're just gonna put it on and see what it will look like. Okay, I don't know. Don't ask me. I mean, I kind of do. I help highlight and contour with it, but I haven't like, I sort of put it on with my foundation, but I'm thinking about something a little different this time. So I'm gonna grab my brush that looks like this, and I'm gonna grab the bronzer shade first, and I'm gonna add that on to my face. I'm just going to blend it on. Instead of putting it on like I'm bronzing, like, or not bronzing, but like I'm contouring, I'm actually putting it on. It's still, I am bronzing. And basically, I am. Okay, so putting it on the areas where I normally like to have my bronzers placed. Okay, even here. So I'm sort of like bronzing the same areas. Okay, so put some down here. Now I'm going to take the highlighter. So I have that on. So I'm going to take the highlighter and I'm going to add it on. And I'm just going to add it on, like, basically mixing the two together. Just like that. Just mixing the two products together. Just like that. Okay. Then add the product up here on the 40 and mixing the two products together. But this is going to go, like, I'm going to put on the foundation on top of it. So I'm just going to get extra glow, okay? So I have those two products on, so you guys can really take a look at this and see whether or not you like it. I love the two products together. I think that they are very beautiful. Um, they are in my collection. I love them. Highly recommend them. Try it, guys. Okay, so I'm going to put on a little bit of this foundation. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. And now I'm going to go in and add in my foundation. I'm going to put it on. Put all of this on. It's a highlight. Oh, wow. Let me tell you. That's really, really, really not really golden. It's not golden. It's like, not a golden highlight. Everything's going to look a little pale-like until it just sort of sinks into my skin. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, got with that. My skin tag. And I forgot to touch that with makeup. So if you notice that video, I can't really put on any makeup on that area quite yet. Pretty sure most of you know that. I'm not the only one that has had skin tags before removed. <laughs> I do like the way my skin looks. It just looks so healthy and so so vibrant. That's the way I look at it. It looks very vibrant and healthy. And that's why I love just how my skin has been looking like really healthy and vibrant. I love this look. Now, I'm going to take it down my neck because there is a difference. I can tell that I put on some bronzer and I love it. I'm just going to pull down the bronzer onto my neck so it all blends together. The finished result you'll see will be even. All right? Okay. So now at this point, I go ahead and put on my concealer. Or sometimes I go ahead and put on my bronzer. But in this case, I think I'm going to go ahead and put on my concealer. And the concealer I'm going to use is my Collab. Collab, no flaws, under eye concealer in light peach. Put on some of this. And conceal my under eyes. Brighten it up a little bit. Not even a little bit. I'm going to brighten it up, okay? Get up here in the inner corner part of my eye. Okay? Just 
spray up in there. So I'm putting a good bit on because I really want this to show because I got all this luminous product and this is looking a bit mad, but I want it to look mad. I want my under eyes to be mad like with the luminous face finish, okay? All right, so what I usually like to do is I usually like to pat this in. I normally just love this pat in and yeah, just that's normally what I like, but I do have a brush that do work with concealers like this and I don't know if it's over here. I don't know why I can't think to get my brushes, okay? <laughs> I just can't. I don't know what it is. Y'all let me get my brush to blend this or to smooth this out here, okay? So I'm just gonna use my contour brush, which it works. I didn't see my other brushes. My brushes that I got from Amazon.com. I couldn't find those. I don't look for those brushes. But see how matte that look and how, how light it looks? It looks good with the luminous finish to me. I feel like sometimes it's beautiful like to have a luminous concealer too with a luminous makeup finish, but sometimes I think that can, that can make the skin look Everything starts to look like it's creasing sometimes when you do that. I think you gotta have at least a matte product on, and a lot of times I just go with the concealer port. Just put on a matte light concealer, and it all works with the luminous skin finish. So, that's exactly what I did here. All right, go ahead and add some on my nose, right here in the center of my nose. Go ahead and add that concealer there to mattify my nose area, right up in there. So, now, since I have that on, a lot of times I do like to go ahead and set it, but I do like to put on my bronzer. And today I'm gonna cream bronze my face, and I'm gonna use this one here, the Maybelline Super Stay Multi Use Foundation Stick. This is in Warm Coconut, and I'm gonna apply this on. And when I say apply, I'm gonna literally put it on my cheeks because this is gonna be my blush. I don't know, you guys, I think that back. My blush is gonna go on top of it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm going to, I want this to look really bronzy here. So, I'm not gonna put any on my nose because a lot of times I get it all over the place. So, I'm just gonna add this on right here on my cheeks, blend it onto my cheeks. See, I just love that look. Like, I really don't even have to set that with powder. I feel like this is beautiful just on its own without any powder. I just love that foundation stick. Like, it's so pretty. And I love that shade, which is warm coconut. Once again, if you did not hear what I said. And blend out my forehead color here. Just bronze it up. Which is also one of my favorite parts of creating makeup is the bronzer. I was have been. Even before doing YouTube, I love my bronzer. Okay. Oh, it's coming together, you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to blend my bronzer underneath my jawline, of course. Now I can go in with powder, and I'm just gonna go in very lightly with the Kalam Sun Obsession Sculpting Bronzer. This I really, really like. It's so good. It'll fool you. The way it looks in the pan is not the way it goes on. Look at this. Like, look at that. It really does sculpt the cheeks. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And it just, it just warms up the skin so nicely and so beautifully. Now I got bronzer all on my hair. That's okay though, it's still good. All right, I'm gonna bring that back up here, the highlighter section here. Come down just a little bit too far. Um, let's see myself, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose. Put that contour there, that bronzer. Go. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take my setting powder, my Neutrogena, y'all know, Mineral Shears, um, foundation powder, this one here. I love it. I did create a video on my channel. I can link it over here. This is such a good powder. I highly recommend it. It's a wonderful foundation. It really is good coverage. So yeah, you're looking for a powder foundation. This is a good one from the drugstore. And I'm just straightening up the contour shade from my nose area here. I go out a little too far sometimes. And uh, set in the concealer, pull out the concealer. Fixing the contour shade there. Real good. Looks so good. So I'm down a little bit further down onto my cheeks with the powder here. Now, I can set my face with the same powder. But I feel like I just, I don't know, you guys feel like I, I don't know. I think I'm going to set it with my, set my face with the Rimmel Lasting Finish um, Powder in Ivory and Dawn. These here. I just love it because you got the bronzer shade, you got the highlighter shade. It's just many different shades in one, and I like that. So I'm just going to go in with these two powders and add this onto my face. I'm going to go in into the Ivory shade. This is setting everything so good. It doesn't really, like... Bother the rest of my makeup. Just beautifies everything, you guys. I love this powder. And I can even grab it and pull it on down my neck. Need to be. Set that luminizing, I guess you can say, foundation. Okay. Yes. I'm getting glitter all into my crease right now, guys. I don't know why, but I am. Okay, so once again, that powder was the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Finishing Powder here. I love those. Those are old school, but y'all know what I love it. Now, one other thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs Pop Powder here. I love it. It's a favorite of mine. It's not a new product, but shit, it's new to me. Okay. So I'm going to add it on because it always brightens so beautifully. Like, look at that. Look at that brightness underneath my eyes. Like, what? Yes, I gotta have this. Yes, you can use it for a highlighter. I think many people used to use this as a highlighter. I used to set my concealer and everything else. I just think it's beautiful to set as a concealer or as a powder to conceal the powder. Just put it underneath the eyes. The concealer. Just set your concealer. This is really good. And also, wherever you want highlight on your face, just add this powder on in those areas. You know, like you're highlighting and contouring. Just add this powder on in those areas. Spotlight. Yes. Glow. This makeup is looking really good, y'all. Especially my face makeup. My eyes look good, too. It's just a little different for me because I've been into the real vibrant... <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I've been really. Y'all gonna turn my phone up for real. Um. Ah, okay, I didn't know I can zoom in that far. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all see that? I didn't know I can do that on my phone. Shit. Okay, y'all got a big picture of me. Wait, let me slim this down. Okay, so y'all can see the whole thing. I didn't know I can do that. Okay, if I keep dropping my phone, y'all ain't gonna be able to record. Like seriously, that makes like the third time I think this week I dropped my phone. That's ridiculous. I gotta get a case for it. There's no need in that silliness. Okay, but anyways, you guys, now, um, what I'm gonna do now is blush and highlights, and then we're gonna finish the eyes, and this look will be done. Okay, so now. Once again, blush. You know what? I'm gonna do the eyes and then we'll get to the blush and the highlight. That's just the way I want to do it. So for, first of all, guys, let me touch up on my eyeshadow because this glitter is all into, like, it, it, y'all see why I say you need glitter blue? Okay, yeah, you see it. It's already done transferred all the way up here. Like, all the way up here. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to really, like, fix it, to be honest with you. I feel like I'm just gonna have to leave it as is. It's probably gonna be, like, not the most beautiful thing, but it's not gonna be the worst either. So, yeah. 
and I had a little bit of that concealer there from Collab only, and that really took a lot of that glitter away from this color here. So I think that's gonna really work out really good there. At least until I can finish this look. So you need glitter glue with that glitter, just saying, okay? And so now, let me go ahead and finish these eyes. I'm gonna use my Real 24 Hour Ultimate Waterproof Coco Gel Liner on my bottom lash line. And I'm not putting it on really because I'm gonna smudge it out. Not neat, I know. But I'm not going to, like I said, I'm gonna smudge it out. And let me find that smudge brush. Let's smudge this out. I want it to look very smudged out. I'm gonna take it, take this brush here, just smudge it out. See? I feel like I got more color on this side than I did the other side. So I'm gonna have to add some more of that coca gel liner. Okay. Yes, I want it to be like this, okay? So now I'm gonna add on some liner on the top. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some right from my Coca Gel liner from Rimmel right here on this brush on this side. I don't wanna use this right directly on my eyes because a lot of times I never get it even. Like, I'm just adding as much product as I can on this brush, which looks like a regular brow brush or an eyeliner brush. Just adding that product on to the brush like that. It works. And now, yeah, go in there and just really like add it on. Complete the look. There we go. Now I can smudge out the liner as well. But you know what? I like it bold on the top lash line. Okay, put a wing. I just came out to the edge of the liner where, where I placed the black shadow on the corner side. And actually, I'm going out a little further with the liner because I feel like I kind of sloped it a little too short on the side. And then I'm going to create a wing like right here. I like that. That right there can really like boost the look, putting that wing way up there. Love it. Love it. Different, but I've always been different. <laughs> I'm Sheila. Okay, so now another thing I'm gonna do in the inner corner, and guess what? And then it's mascara, and we're done, okay? Um, actually, I don't even have to put on mascara. I feel like sometimes when you have on these, these type of looks like this, you really don't need mascara. And I think I'm not gonna do it because this, I know I've got to remove this glitter off of my eyes as soon as I'm done. But the LA Colors uh, Tattoo Stamp, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use the one that is the heart shape. Or well, the star. Which one do I want? The star. I'm gonna use the star. I'm gonna use the star and the heart. I'll use both of them. I don't know. Um, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the heart. I think that's so cute. Um, I'm gonna put that stamp like right here where you would normally highlight the inner corner. And I could do that first. You know what I think I'll do? Let me highlight my inner corner. I'm gonna use my it girl palette and I'm just gonna grab this highlighting shade here. Place it into the inner corner. I know that's a lot right there. Okay, but yeah. And then I'm just gonna blend that out just a little bit. Just like that. Just like that. Now I'm gonna add on this here, which is unhard, and I'm gonna stamp it right here in the inner corner, just like this. Oh. Really? You don't do me like that now? Oh, that's totally messed up. Like, no, you don't. I'm gonna clean you up. Hmm. That one came out beautifully. That one came out beautifully. This one over here won't be a pain. There we go. There we go. Different. Everybody's not gonna love it. Okay, whatever. This one right there. I love it. Different. Cute look. Now, what I was gonna do is add a little color below this liner, and I am. I'm gonna take a neon. Actually, I'm gonna take a color out of this Pure Barbie palette. And I was just gonna add on, I don't know if I wanted the pink or the, I was gonna add on this, this black shade here with the glitter, but actually, you can't even see the glitter in it. So, I think I'm just gonna take the Hmm. I think I'm gonna take this um oh, it's so pretty. I don't know. It's like it's one of those palettes, it's like what would I use? What I do? It's just so pretty. I think I'm gonna take this really pretty. I think I'm gonna take the yeah, I'm gonna take the pastel pink. I don't know. I'm just I'm just in that groove and I think it's one of these. So I'm gonna take the pastel pink shade. And I'm just gonna actually outline the liner on the bottom. Just like that. Just outline the liner. Just like that. And if I wanted to, I can pull it on out with the wing here. I just think it's so pretty. And like I said, my looks is not for everybody. I'm gonna go out on the corner side, right here by my wing, extend it. There we go. I love that. Wow, that is so cute. <sighs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, okay? I love it, I love this look. Now, uh, blush, you know what? I'm gonna take the, the pink shade that I just used from the Pure X Barbie, and I'm gonna use it as my blush color. So I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my blush brush that I've used so many times, because it's gonna have to be washed, but I'm gonna add this on as my blush. Oh my God, y'all, look at that. Now I'm so close now. Now I know how to zoom in. Y'all didn't know this camera. This camera, like this phone and this camera, is so good. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay, so pretty. And this pink is not too vibrant. And I know I've been wearing a lot of pinks on my cheeks, but y'all, you know what? It's been a while because normally I just use bronzers and I don't like never add extra blush or anything. I, it's been a while since I've even been touching blushes like pinks and purples and all kinds of shades like that. So this is like, I feel like it's a new me, you know? I haven't done this in a while. And call it for what it is. Like, if you want to call it AB style, it's fine. I don't care. Um, yeah, it don't matter. I just like all of the neon looks that's out right now. I am absolutely in love with them. I'm in love with adding the color onto the nose area um, as a flesh color. I'm into that as well. I like that a lot. And I'm into it. That's it. That's all I can say. I'm into it. So now it's time for highlighter. 
for highlight. I think I'm gonna take this shade here. It is a highlighter. Even this pink shade is a highlighter. I think I'm gonna mix it too. This is from the Pure X Barbie. These two shades here I'm gonna use as a highlighter. Even that one's a highlighter. I might use this shade, that shade, and that shade as a highlighter. So that's what I'm gonna use on top of my cheeks. Use that one, that one, and that one. Blend it out properly, and then I'm gonna go across my cheeks with it. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Like, look at that. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I begin to like. What is it? What's the name for it? I just begin to these kind of highlights like this. It looks sort of purple, like pink, violet type colored highlights. That's just what I begin to like. Y'all see that? Like, isn't that gorgeous? Like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And it's so Sheila. This is like so me. Yeah, the more the better. Now it's time for pure lipstick, okay? Pure lipstick. <laughs> okay, most of you probably say, Sheila, put on a pink lipstick. Y'all, listen, I am a nude girl, okay? I love my nudes. I do have this fusion color, which I've used already in one video. Y'all really just don't want that. I just want a nude that kind of simmer down this look so it's not as bold. That's the wrong liner. So I'm gonna take my natural liner, which needs to be sharpened, okay? I'm taking it, sort of outline my lips. I try to do this fast. I'm trying to do this real fast. I know y'all's probably tired by now. <laughs> y'all probably like, when is this over? It's so pretty. Like, it's finished over. I'm sorry, you guys. I just take my time. That's just me. It's always been me. I can't change myself. It can only be me. And then some of y'all say, well, you can always improve yourself. Yes, that's true. But y'all, I just I just take my time, okay? Can't help it. I just cannot help it. All right, so now I'm feeling my lips. Okay, fill them in. Fill them in my bottom lip. Okay. And overline a little more on the top. Just me. All right, so now I'm going to take my all May. I think that's the one, no. No, 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 no. no. I'm going to take my pink nude. Uh, I'm going to take the Ardell Ultra Opaque Lipstick in Tinder Ties. This one's going to look real good. Ah, what the crap? No way. No freaking way. No, you're not going to bring on me. Nope. Because I can't get no more right now. I'll put you in the lead for now. No. Like, I'm serious. This is my favorite pink nude. And it just broke on me a little bit. No. All right, that's the Tinder Ties by Ardell. The Ultra Opaque Lipstick right there. I think that works perfectly with the pink and all. It's a nude, but it's a pink beige nude, which I like, y'all. So let me just kind of take out these pins here. The other side is fine. I got bronzer all through. I got to watch this tonight. And because I got bronzer all over everything. I like that. All right, you guys, I am back. This is the finished look. How y'all like it? I am in love. I know that y'all, if you haven't watched my videos on my other channel, then you will not know I've been really wearing the pink blush or the, uh, what is it, pink velvet light shades. I've just been loving that look lately because usually I just put on bronzer and that's it, but I've been loving the bright, vivid cheeks and the bright, vivid eyeshadows, the bold eyeshadow looks I've been loving. So yeah, guys, this is the look. I really love it. It's so, it's sort of flirtatious to me, especially with the tattoo stay up here. It's hearts, you guys. That's what that is. It's not the most prettiest thing. This one looks good, but these two is not pretty. But from a distance, it's cute. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, this is what's going on with the glitter on the eyes. Once again, I don't want to take this off. So far, I haven't gotten any glitter into my eyes. And once again, I did not put on mascara because I feel like all the um, black eyeshadow that I put on, I feel like I don't really have to. With the glitter being on my lids without glitter glue, I feel like I don't need to put the mascara on. Because a lot of times the glitter just kind of pack up on the mascara if it falls down. So I'm not gonna put on any mascara, but guys, look at this. Gorgeous, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, let me lift this up just a little bit. I feel like I'm holding y'all face or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, y'all, I got one of my tops I haven't worn in years, you guys. Um, this is so cute. Like, look at you guys. Ooh, sexy today. Yeah, y'all. I ain't worn this in a long time. But believe me, on the bottom, I just got on the prayer with me. <laughs> I tried to look a, a little bit better, but y'all, y'all see my earrings here? I got the I can't remember when I got these. I've had them for a long while, but I figured it would look good with the top, with the look, with the glitter and all that. And so, yeah, you guys, come to see me on today. I don't know what it is, but yeah, guys, I really like this look. It's very flirtatious. I think it's a flirty look. I think this will be really nice for a night out. However, most of us, we can't go out, but you know what I'm saying? We can play, okay? We can pretend. And so, this is more like a night out with your girlfriends, like going to a club, going to dance somewhere or something, and just chilling and having a lot of fun. It's just a fun look, okay, guys? This is what it is, a fun look. So, once again, you guys, the palette that created this eye makeup look, well, actually, the products that I used to create this look came from the Barbie Pure X palette here. I use this since I've already I used it once and I put it up because I did not want to damage my eyeshadows because at the time I had eye injury and I was like no I'm not gonna play with this nope not until everything is over but this is a nice palette you guys oh my god I use like I said I use the glitter there on my lid and I use these three shades as my highlighters okay so then I use the pink shade on my cheeks and this line underneath my liner so I use a good bit of shades out of this palette love it I always love this palette when I first saw it I had to purchase it it's only certain products that I actually notice and I go you know what that's a good palette I'm gonna spend my money and get this palette so this was one of the and I don't regret it it's so pretty I need to use this palette more I know that y'all said that's oh but for me it's not old okay this is just on time okay and also another lovely palette that Maybe considered old and I don't care. But I bought it fresh and brand new. This is the It Cosmetic It Girl palette here. I really like this palette because you have neutral tones to create some neutral like eye makeup looks. And you have some shimmers over here. You have matte and you have this blush. So this is a very nice versatile palette. I use these two colors to darken my um, crease. And I also use this as my transition shade to sort out the look. So yeah, you guys, that's the palette that I use there. And of course, I say the best for last. It is the Norvina ADH palette. Love this palette. This is a palette I reach for every day. I use eyeshadows as blushes. Yes, I do. I use eyeshadows not only on my eyes, but I put these eyeshadows onto my cheeks and they just, oh god, y'all, y'all. That's the next thing on my list is to hurry up and get the other two volume of uh, palettes of volume two and volume three. That's on my list. Like that's what I want. I love this palette, and that's no joke. I know y'all probably said I'm tired of hearing you say you like this palette. I love when I love a product, I will tell you I love it. And I think that this is a great, beautiful palette for the price. Yes, because you can use the eyeshadows as blushes. You can use the eyeshadows as highlighters. You can put the eyeshadows onto your eyelids for eyeshadows. You can actually use some of the shades to actually fill in the brows if need to be. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with this palette, okay? This white shade here you can use as an eyeshadow base. Yes, you can. To intensify eyeshadows, you use this shade here, which is C1. This one here, the white shade, you can use it as an eyeshadow base. So that's why I love this eyeshadow palette, because I have basically everything in this one palette. So I'm just saying that straight, because some of you are like, oh, you say this, this. I love this palette, okay? I love it. I love, I love it. Just like I love this It Girl Cosmetics by um uh this It Girl eyeshadow palette. I love this by it, it. 
by it cosmetics, okay? I love this palette. I don't care how old it may be. This here, the uh, Barbie Pure X uh, palette here. I love it. The shadows are pigmented. Look at my blush. Look at, look at this color on my cheeks. Look at, look at the color up here. Like, for real, this is such a beautiful palette. So I don't never get tired of beautiful palettes. If they are beautiful, I don't care if you consider them old palettes or whatever. I like them and I will continue to use them because look at my face. I think my makeup looks fabulous. And yes, it may not be everybody's taste, but hey, it's my taste, okay? And it's on my face, okay? It's not being made, but it's on my face. And I love this look. So yeah, guys, I hope y'all enjoy this video. I hope y'all enjoy. I know it was a long video. Y'all try to clip out a few things. I probably did to try to, you know, like, Try to, you know, make a video short, y'all. But please understand, this is a great video. I feel like every step of it, I think it could be somewhat helpful for somebody that maybe just starting. I know that I'm not like a professional professional. I don't have a license, but I have done makeup. I've been doing makeup since I was 11 years old. I know a lot about it, but I do my makeup the way I like to do makeup. Okay, everybody has their own techniques, and that's what makes the makeup industry such a beautiful community. Well, a, a beautiful industry is because everybody do their own thing and they create their own looks, and that's what amazes me, and that's what attracts me to the makeup industry point blank. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna let y'all go. I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all for watching. So be careful out there, guys, or just be careful in general. And I'll see y'all in my next video. And thank you for watching, and please come back for more videos. Bye bye.